Today, I want to bring you into our creative process at paidadvertising.com. So how do we work with UGC creators at scale utilizing a platform called Incense? How do we actually use our ClickUp workspace internally to track all of our creators and creative projects? So I want to open up the curtains for you today and give you a look into what it looks like essentially from a paidadvertising.com client for you as a brand to either replicate on your own or for you, one of you agencies out there to take inspiration from. So with that being said, Let's get straight into it. My name is Justin and I'm the founder at paidadvertising.com, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. And with that said, let's get into the meat of this video. So Incense, if you're not familiar, it's one of the most popular UGC platform out there. In fact, think of it as an upwork for content creators. It's a big marketplace where you can post campaigns or invite and contact direct content creators to get into an agreement with communicate with them and then agree on project terms and essentially having them end up shooting content for you. So we've now partnered with Incense for right around a year at this point where we've used their platform coming up on a year at the end of the summer actually. So we're right around 11 months of working with Incense as of right now. So I'll take you into the platform and show you a little bit how to use it and then take you into ClickUp to show you our, our backend processes of managing content creators. So once you actually log in and join Incense, this is what you're greeted with. If you have a singular brand, so if you are an e-commerce brand owner, it's pretty simple. You can create one brand profile with an Incense and that's it. You can get started and use Incense. Whereas if you're an agency like us, what you can do, you can create multiple brand profiles and then segregate your campaigns by brands, which makes it super easy for us to manage content creations uh, campaigns for different of our clients. Now, I'm not going to go to the brand level because that would show you a couple of our clients. But again, it's just a list essentially of all the brands that you have. Whereas your home, you can see all of the campaigns you would have. So you can see we have tons of campaigns right now for different clients that are live and active for which we're trying to gather creators for. So that said, very quick intro to Incense overall and kind of how it works. So there's one thing that is the primary tab that you're gonna spend a lot of your time in. Um, it, it's called Marketplace, essentially, where this is where you can find all creators before starting a, a project. So a couple different things that you can do, right? You can, first of all, uh, segregate creators by either Instagram and TikTok stats. Uh, you can search for specific creators that you want. You can search for creators that use specific hashtags. You can search by all of these filters that you have right here. You can eliminate any creators that you would have already worked with in the past. So if you only want to work with new creators as an example, and here's, this is, this is where it gets interesting. You have two ways to actually start an incense campaign. You either add specific creators that you want to target into your creator list, and then you make a campaign that is only going to be sent to these creators. So that way you have a message that could be very tailored to a specific subset of creators. Or if you want to go back essentially, so I can quit without saving as an example, going back on home, I can click new campaign in the top right corner and I can do the opposite. I can make a campaign and then essentially as I make that campaign, so let's just make a mock campaign together right now. So right now, right there, I could put like UGC YouTube video, right? I'm going to go adjust content right here. I'm going to pick this as an example for Instagram. They're going to get paid with money. We want to hire as it less than five creators most of the time. We want to pay them, let's say up to 150 bucks. Then we would put the uh, product image as an example right here. So let me just put uh, whatever logo right here for our software company actually. So let me just put that real quick. Save. So have that saved right there. Then product delivery. How do we do it? Do we reimburse them? Do we ship it or whatnot? Um, usually we'd pick shipment. Then you can put a description of whatever the product is. I'm just going to put something random. Perfect. Then this is where it gets interesting. You actually pick out the style of creators you want to be able to see that campaign. This is where it's like really similar to Upwork. Where on Upwork, you can actually post a campaign and select like who's going to be able to see that campaign. So in this case, it's kind of the same thing, right? Who sees that campaign? I could go private, which essentially would be the first way that I showed you earlier, which is either I've already invited uh, some creators to it, or then if I pick private here, I would actually pick the creators that I want to add. So I can do it uh, e either picking creator first, creating the campaign afterwards or creating the campaign and picking the creators after, uh, or you could go public, which anybody that fits within the criteria that we upload right here would fit uh, that campaign. So they would actually be able to see it. Then let me exit right here and show you what a live campaign looks like. Now, once I've launched a campaign, I can actually see something like this right here, where as an example, you can see, uh, so I can check 
creators that are all statuses. So what I would mean is basically anybody who's applied for our campaign, uh, I would be able to see right there. So all of these people apply to our campaign, then I can start shortlisting these creators. Usually what I would do as an agency is our team would go through manually all the creators that have applied right there and shortlist about 10 to a dozen max that they would then send our client for our clients to approve and then shortlist from that shortlist we've already made. And then we'd only contact the creators that our brand would have approved. From there, we'd actually try and get an agreement with um, at least one or two creators uh, within that. And it would go by a, a first response, first uh, serve basis, if that makes sense. So here, you would also be able to see, as an example, uh, I can filter by review, if there's any creators that are currently um, in the review stage, content creation, if there's anybody who's currently creating content, completed, if we're already completed with those, not interested if we've ever, uh, well, basically if we've ever marked a creator as not interested or they've actually declined the brief that we've uh, sent them. So in this case, this is a brand new campaign. So you can see most creators that uh, uh, have applied are automatically put in an onboarding status. So they've accepted the brief. And now it's our job to make sure that we confirm a contract with each of those. So let me give an example of what that would look like. So as an example, what I can do right here is I can click on view message or send a message to that creator. So then once I click on this, I come up with uh, a screen that you can see right now. What I would wanna do first is top up and hire, which essentially would mean I need to add money to my incense account, and then I need to hire that creator. Here's the trick, they don't actually really get paid. The money is not released to them by incense up until the project is actually approved by you. It's just those funds are being held by incense in case, well, until essentially the product comes to completion. So I would click top up and hire, then confirm the contract with the creator right here. And then once this is done, as you can see here at the bottom, I would start seeing the shipment information for that creator and I'd be able to uh, just copy that and then go on Shopify and create a, a draft order for that specific creator and then send them a product. So it's pretty simple. They already see the brief, they already have access to it. So on their side, you see the same thing that we do here. They see the brief in the conversation that we're having with them. They can open it up and then consult at any given point what it is that they need to deliver on. So as mentioned earlier, what we usually do is we'll look through the entire list of creators that would have applied to work with one of our clients. And then we'll hop over to ClickUp and then short lists uh, specific creators that have applied. So usually about a handful that we think could be a good fit. And then the client has access to a list like this on ClickUp. So they only see the creators that we've shortlisted on our side. So we do like the first manual batch of review to make sure the client has as little like friction as possible. We don't want them to have to go through 130 different um, uh, UGC creators. So we shortlist a handful. And then basically this is the information that we have. Uh, the client can actually mark whether or not they approve uh, of the creator. So yes or no, which is pretty simple. Um, and then comments on approval right here. So if ever it is, even if it's a yes or no, they could say actually why uh, they've approved them or not. Then internally, we actually have some different things. So we're gonna have uh, essentially these three columns that we would fill out on our side. Uh, we would have created the pick again, incense campaign URL and create a batch. Incense campaign URL is pretty simple. Basically, we just link out whatever campaign we're currently working with that creator for. Creative batch is uh, we usually have a naming convention internally for any creative batches that we launch for an ad account. So we name right here alongside that specific creator, what creative batch are they currently working on? Um, and then finally created to pick again, which is a great way for us to keep track of how good a creator really is. We got three statuses. Yes, not really your blacklisted. Um, not really, it's kind of a gray zone. It's, it's look, they did an okay job. They didn't do amazing. They didn't do really bad. Like it's whatever, right? It's meh. Um, blacklisted is creators that for us, have taken way too long to deliver the contents, um, have not followed the brief at all, and potentially we've gave them feedback and they didn't really do a good job at implementing that, or very poor uh, communication, very poor quality of work. So as you can see, we blacklisted a couple. Um, yes is the complete opposite. This is a creator that really went above and beyond on the communication side or delivered it very quickly uh, or had a very good quality uh, piece of content or all of the above. Um, one of our creators here that essentially is, uh, that we whitelisted essentially was an amazing creator. Um, I remember essentially that specific creator had a uh, Sony camera, I believe, or a DSLR of some sort. Um, and they had like crispy quality, like 4K UGC footage they delivered to us. Amazing microphone quality. Uh, he was also super dynamic. So like that for us was an A1 creator 
that we definitely want to work with again. And usually also any creators that we say to pick again might be entirely due to the ad results. Even if sometimes we have a so-so experience with the creator itself, if the ad results are like A1 and we have a winning ad comes from such a creator, we might also mark them as to pick again internally so that we know uh, that creator again, it could be a winner um, in the future. So that essentially is our UGC workflow. This is how we communicate to get into contracts, ship out products to write our briefs and keep track of all the creators that we've worked with in the past or want to work with in the future. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about our creative process internally, especially how we work with UGC creators. We have linked in the description down below our free school community with a full paid advertising and creative mini course for all of you guys advertising online. So check this out down below. And finally, if you're an e-commerce brand watching this, making at least 50 grand a month with your brand, you want us at paidadvertising.com to handle all of your UGC and performance creatives as well as run your paid advertising campaigns. Also check out the description down below and book in a call to speak with our team. On that note, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Make sure to check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.